Good morning and uh, welcome here this morning to, to morning prayer. I do apologise for the slightly late start. I was uh, ready, I pressed the go live and then it said unable to start. So I had to, to um, put all the details in again and restart again. So I do apologise for that. Uh, I hope this finds you well in good heart and in good spirits uh, and in good health. Uh, it's a great privilege and pleasure to welcome you here today. I, I am live today. I'm not sat in a car. Actually, by the time I got, by the time um, morning prayer would have started, um, by the time morning prayer would have started uh, here on Facebook yesterday, I was actually in Bristol. Uh, made good time. Um, I was sat in the car, uh, funnily enough, eating my breakfast. But um, uh, I was I was in Bristol, not on the M4 or anything like that. So that was good. But. Um, I hope you managed to catch it yesterday, uh, and I hope it was. I hope it all worked okay. Um, but yes, very much live uh, today. Me and Pippa, she's been led on a bed upstairs, asleep until this point, and now she's been very keen to come sit on my lap, as per usual at about this time, um, just to say hello. So, oh, sorry, I'm just clicking on a few things. Just a couple of quick notices. So this Sunday we have services at uh, South Marston and at Stratton at half past nine, and then eleven o'clock there is uh, a service, at, um, a family service at Stanton. It's their family service. It's their harvest service as well. So um, that would be something um, they're all worth going to, obviously. Uh, and then of course on Saturday we have Saturday scene. Uh, which returns after just a slight hiatus of of 18 months or so um, but that's going to be at four o'clock in the center uh, so that promises to be um, that promises to be really good as well and that's going to be like a harvest festival or harvest theme as well so add to the uh, kind um, donations and um, offerings that were um, that were given last week as well, which will be going to the Food Collective. Hopefully you have the liturgy in front of you. I do, uh, I will have the liturgy in front of me in a moment, as soon as Cat lets me. Thank you, Cat. Oh. So let's just have a moment of quiet. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Second prayer. Um, going down. Blessed are you, creator of all. To you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will that the world may rejoice and give you praise blessed be god father son and holy spirit blessed be god forever glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever amen The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. 
Amen. Going to use Psalm 95. Psalm 95. Come, let us worship and bow down. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hands, hearts as at Meribah, on the day at Massa in the wilderness, when your forebears tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long I detested that generation and said, This people are wayward in their hearts. They do not know my ways. So I swore in my wrath, They shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us pray. Lord God, the maker of all, as we bow down in praise this day, make us attentive to your voice and do not test us beyond our enduring through jesus christ our lord glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever amen if you wish to continue reading from maccabees it's one maccabees chapter 4 verse 26 to 35 you can the cat is trying to move on to the previous day i think living in the past cat um just trying to swipe my screen um <laughs> if you're on the app or you're on the website you should be able to pick up that reading equally so uh, the old testament reading assigned for today is two chronicles 22 verses 10 to 23, sorry, um, verse 10, right through to chapter 23 uh, to the end. We're going to move on to our canticle. Raise us up, O God, that we may live in your presence. Come, let us return to the Lord who has torn us and will heal us. God has stricken us and will bind up our wounds. After two days he will revive us and on the third day will raise us up that we may live in his presence. Let us strive to know the Lord. His appearing is as sure as the sunrise. He will come to us like the showers, like the spring rains that water the earth. O oh, Ephraim, how shall I deal with you? How shall I deal with you, O Judah? Your love for me is like the morning mist, like the dew that goes early away. Therefore I have hewn them by the prophets, and my judgment goes forth as the light. For loyalty is my desire and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Raise us up, O God, that we may live in your presence. Our reading now from um, New Testament, from the Gospel, is Mark chapter 16 verses 1 to 8. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint Jesus. 
And very early on, the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'm going to read this uh, reflection by Anna Matthews. The first Easter morning brings not joy and the peace of the risen Christ, but bewilderment, fear and flight. It's an odd ending to the Gospel. Disfa dissatisfaction with it meant that a shorter and a longer ending, ending were added later. But it says something powerful and true about the resurrection, which is that we sometimes struggle to see it as good news doesn't rush us into Easter joy. Everything is not instantly resolved. Resurrection doesn't happen tidily. It happens in disarray. Like the women who flee from the empty tomb, sometimes I flee from resurrection. The new life Jesus promises sometimes feels too unsettling, too unabounded. I find it easier to stay in the tomb of sorrow or fear or unforgiveness whose contours I at least know, then I, do to, uh, then I do to emerge blinking into the new life that Jesus promises, where old certainties are rewritten and my life is made strange and new. If Jesus is risen, then the world is other than I imagined it to be. The rollback stone shows us that tombs do not need to say, stay sealed. To roll back the stone to step tentatively into the Easter dawn can be frightening. No wonder the women flee. Because to step out of the tomb, to be resurrected, is to live in a way unbounded by death, to find ourselves not under the domin dominion of fear or hatred or sin, but under the dominion of love. And that really is good news. We are very much at the sharp end of the gospel, so to say. The bit that really cuts to the chase. The bit that may be the most hard to kind of comprehend. And we are like Mary and Mary. Does everyone, is everyone called Mary in the Bible? Um, we are like those women and those disciples, bewildered not quite sure and it does take a step of faith because it's not ordinary but do not be alarmed you are looking for Jesus of Nazareth who was crucified he has been raised he is not here look there is the place that he laid him but go and tell his disciples and Peter, that he is going ahead of you to Galilee, there you will see him just as he told you. Be with one another. Go and tell each other. Celebrate this good news. Follow him, and he will be there. You will see him just as he told you. Forsake me not, O Lord, 
Be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. I'm going to use, I'm going to uh, press the blue hyperlink of a, for a song of praise. And uh, use these words which are from Revelation. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise for ever. You are worthy, O Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom of priests serving a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign with you for on earth. We say together, to the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise for ever. Amen. I'm going to, as our intercessions today, um, I'm going to do things slightly differently. Um, but something I, oh crumbs, what have I done there? Something I used to do uh, in the long and distant past on a Friday would be to, stop it, would be to, excuse me, would be to, um, get that ready, use the litany. So uh, there's a blue, if you click on the, other prayers I think it says on the uh, on the app or on the on the website it will take you to lots of other prayers and you scroll right down um, or sc scroll right down and you will find uh, the litany this kind of long set of prayers very short prayers but they cover quite a lot um, it's kind of after 31, 32, have a look, I'm in the book, after 36, you get to the litany. There are different sections and different responses. The first responses are, have mercy upon us, after I make these very short um, for each sentence if you could respond with have mercy upon us let us pray God the Father have mercy upon us God the Son have mercy upon us God the Holy Spirit have mercy upon us. Holy, blessed and glorious Trinity, have mercy upon us. For the next few paragraphs, the response is, Good Lord, deliver us. From evil and mischief, from pride, vanity and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred and malice, and from all evil intent, good Lord, deliver us. From sloth, sloth, worldliness and love of money, from hardness of heart and contempt for your word and your laws, 
Good Lord, deliver us. From sins of body and mind, from the deceits of the world, the flesh and the devil. Good Lord, deliver us. From famine and disaster, from violence, murder and dying unprepared. Good Lord, deliver us. In all times of sorrow, in all times of joy, in the hour of death and the day of judgment. Good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your birth, childhood and obedience, by your baptism, fasting and temptation. Good Lord, deliver us. By your ministry in word and work, by your mighty acts of power, and by your preaching of the kingdom. Good Lord, deliver us. By your agony and trial, by your cross and passion, and by your precious death and burial. Good Lord, deliver us. By your mighty resurrection, by your glorious ascension, and by your sending of the Holy Spirit. Good Lord, deliver us. pray for ourselves, and now these next few prayers are for the world and for those around us so please could you respond with hear us good lord hear our prayers O god O lord our god hear us good lord govern and direct your holy church Fill it with love and truth, and grant it that unity which is your will. Hear us, good Lord. Give us boldness to preach the gospel in all the world, and to make disciples of all the nations. Hear us, good Lord. Enlighten Viv and Lee, our bishops, and all those who minister with knowledge and understanding, that by their teaching and their lives they may proclaim your word. Hear us, good Lord. Give your people grace to hear and receive your word to bring forth the fruit of the Spirit. Hear us, good Lord. Bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived. Hear us, good Lord. Strengthen those who stand Comfort and help the faint-hearted. Raise up the fallen. And finally beat down Satan under our feet. Hear us, good Lord. Guide the leaders of the nations into ways of peace and justice. Hear us, good Lord. Guard and strengthen your servant Elizabeth, our Queen, that she may put her trust in you and seek your honour and glory. Hear us, good Lord. And you, the High Court of Parliament, 
and all the ministers of the crown with wisdom and understanding. Hear us, good Lord. Bless those who administer the law, that they may uphold justice, honesty and truth. Hear us, good Lord. Give us the will to use the resources of the earth to your glory and for the good of all creation. Hear us, good Lord. Bless and keep your people. Hear us, good Lord. Bring your joy into all families. Strengthen and deliver those in childbirth. Watch over children and guide the young. Bring reconciliation to those in discord and comfort and peace to those in stress and safety to those in danger. Hear us, good Lord. responses for the next few sentences are Lord have mercy. Help and comfort the lonely, the bereaved and the oppressed. Lord have mercy. Keep in safety those who travel and all who are in danger. Lord have mercy. Heal the sick in body and in mind and in spirit and provide for the homeless, the hungry and the destitute. And we particularly lift before you this morning Lord, Mark, Addie and her family, William and his family, Pauline, Linda, Stuart, Beryl, Eunice, George, Bob, John, Mary, Jordan, Mary, Wendy, John, Janet, Annette, Jim, Joe and the family, Daniel, Peter and Alvin and their family, Shane, Tilly, Jan, Linda and her family, Chris, Anna, Mary, Chris, Martina and her mum Traudle and their family, Andy, Catherine continuing to recover from her operation. Anne, Sarah, Nicholas, Martin, Pat, Jeff and Hilary, Tom, Esme, Nilva and her family, Len, John and Val, Peter and Bridget, Ken, Rose, Barbara, Sylvia, Gwen, Christine, Greg, Stephanie and their family, Josie, Curtis family, Leslie and Anne <coughs> and Anne. Lord, have mercy. 
show your pity on prisoners and refugees and all who are in trouble. Lord, have mercy. Forgive our enemies, persecutors and slanderers and turn their hearts. Lord, have mercy. Hear us as we remember this day those who have died in the peace of Christ, both those who have confessed the faith and those whose faith is known to you alone. And grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Give us true repentance. Forgive us our sins of negligence and ignorance and our deliberate sins and grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to your holy word. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. collect for today. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us your gift of faith, that forsaking what lies behind and reaching out to that which is before, we may run the way of your commandments and win the crown of everlasting glory, sorry, everlasting joy and glory, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Drawing our prayers and praises into one, we pray as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen the lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life amen let us bless the lord thanks be to god thank you so much for joining me today uh, a great privilege to be with you, a uh, pleasure to be with you, a great privilege to be able to uh, uh, to read that resurrection reading. I think they're really special and, and we don't want to fall into a trap where we only read those things once a year. It's important to remember um, why we come together and the hope that we have, uh, as bewildering as it may be, the hope that we do have. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope uh, it's a bit cloudy out there, but I hope that sun shines on you uh, wherever you may be, even if it's sh just shining on your heart. Uh, a bit of music today. I'm going to turn the volume up. I always have the volume right down. Uh, I have the volume up, and uh, it's called "I Will Trust in the Lord." May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. God bless you and keep you. And I look forward to being together again very soon. See you soon.